It's time to go out into the Pacific Ocean. Whoa, double whale tail! We have seen more whales in the past five minutes than we have in our entire life. Oh my lantern! We just had the temple arm go off and there was a lot of smoke. This video is brought to you by AG1 by Athletic Greens. Find out how you can get five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D3K2. We are super excited about this partnership because we have been drinking AG1 daily for over a year now and we can say without a doubt it is a great product that we highly recommend to you guys. So what is it you may be wondering? AG1 is a nutritional drink developed to give your body everything it needs for optimal performance. Each scoop of AG1 is nine health products in one. Giving you the equivalent of a multivitamin, minerals, probiotics, adaptogens, antioxidants, and more. AG1 supports your energy, focus, gut health, digestion, immune system, and mental clarity without the need to take multiple products or pills. So you can say goodbye to taking all of these and take just one scoop of AG1 once a day. We have been going nonstop for eight months straight, waking up early every morning, going to the gym, and drinking our AG1 with breakfast every single day. We have not gotten sick, we're able to focus all day, and we have the energy to go, go, go. Click the link below to get a one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs with your first purchase. So thank you, AG1 by Athletic Greens, for sponsoring this video, and we hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, it is 5.52 a.m. We have walked jetty. The dinghy is up. Most things are secure. And it's time to go out into the Pacific Ocean. Let's go under the Golden Gate Bridge for the first time ever. I just missed it on camera, but I just saw a giant fluke, thin fluke, giant fluke wave um, in the fog. Whoa. Another huge whale just popped up. Just saw another whale. That is four in like an hour. Oh, oh, everywhere. We have seen more whales in the past five minutes than we have in our entire lives. And that is living on a boat for the past eight years. This is so cool. If you look in the distance, it just looks like there's submarines like popping up everywhere. You get a good view up there? Yeah, it's like everywhere you look. 
everywhere, not to mention it's probably as calm as ever been. Eleven nautical miles in, and we just had the temp alarm go off, and there was a lot of smoke on the port engine. As soon as we shut down the port engine, I went down to the engine room to examine what was going on. It stunk like coolant all through the engine room, so I immediately traced the problem to the freshwater pump. The freshwater pump is a belt-driven pump with metal vanes that circulates the coolant throughout the engine. The seal on the freshwater pump failed and it allowed hot coolant to leak out and also caused ineffective circulation of the remaining coolant in the engine, which is why we got our high temp alarm. Thank goodness the high temp alarm worked and we were able to shut down the engine immediately. Okay, we're still going between six and a half and seven knots um, with just one engine, which is pretty impressive. We have the wind gently behind us, super calm still. If only we could keep going, <laughs> but we're gonna have to stop and pick up that part somehow, some way. But everything else is going smooth so far, not calling you. So uh, yeah, definitely not ideal to be having engine problems right off the start, especially on this dangerous coast over here. I'm just letting Billy do its thing down there, not get in his way, making sure the other engine stays at the correct temperature. And it's super foggy, so making sure we don't hit anything. It certainly doesn't smell good up here. It smells like the Oh man, you guys. Freshwater pump failed on the port engine. We're still cruising along at six and a half to seven knots on the starboard engine alone, which is pretty dang good. The most perfect conditions in the Pacific Ocean you could imagine. It couldn't get any better. We are pulling into a small fishing town here, Bodega Bay. Try to sort this out. I don't have a spare freshwater pump. Probably should. It's not a super common thing to break although it's probably the original one so i probably should have had a spare it's not like a raw water pump where those things you definitely need a spare like they break and the impellers get worn pretty easily freshwater pumps aren't necessarily like that ours i think it's the seal that actually blew we have two options there's a place back in san francisco called outboard motor shop apparently they carry some ford layman parts so hopefully they have it they're not open today but i'll call them first thing tomorrow morning and see and maybe we can get like some sort of uber doesn't uber like drop off packages or whatever i think you saw that the other day Right? Yeah, something like that. Or they have other apps, I think, that like picks packages up for you and drops them off if you want. Like Uber Eats, but for anything. So hopefully you get someone to do that. Um, and if not, I got to order one. It's going to take a few days and we are just going to completely miss this perfect weather window, which is just the biggest shame. It's looked like forward in the forecast. And if we don't leave by tomorrow afternoon and make it around like the next Cape in 24 hours, we have terrible weather for like a solid five days and my parents booked their tickets to seattle if we don't make it on this weather window i kind of doubt we're gonna make it to see them so cross your fingers they're open tomorrow they have the part the fresh water pump i'm all ready to put it on i can put it on in a few minutes pulling into bodega bay right now So we've been here before to Bodega Bay. It was actually our last stop that we checked out in the truck camper before we sold it. Uh, we just drove around this area, got some lunch, and then we camped like a few miles north uh, along the coast, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of funny. Our first stop cruising was our last stop in the truck camper.
okay we are tied up we are fueled up and it was almost two dollars cheaper per gallon here by car we're only like an hour away <laughs> than our over eight dollars we paid at the last spot which is crazy billy's been in the engine room since we got back because lo and behold we get here we plug in and our we're not charging so how'd you fix that mm, just a little issue with the neutrals but he's a genius Don't worry about it and fixes everything. So now we are charging. The store's not open today, so we can't get our part today. So we're gonna have to do that searching tomorrow. And it's super foggy, but we're back in Bodega Bay. Was it super frustrating being in the engine room when it was all hot when we were underway while you we were fixing all that stuff or? It was just uncomfortable because it was extremely calm. So that hadn't, yeah, it was fine in that regard, but it stunk like um, coolant. It was just like steamy coolant, and that was getting to me a little bit. But beside, and it was a little hot. But besides that, it was wasn't bad. Like I was down there for a while, just trying to clean you were down everything there for up. Hours. Really? I walked down there for five minutes, and I felt like I was gonna die. Is that why I'm exhausted? Probably. It was a fresh water pump. We did. We have two spares of the raw water pumps. Probably should have a spare of the fresh water pump, but it just wasn't on my mind. Just yet another hundred and sixty dollars to spend to have a spare. Hopefully that you would never need because it's hard to tell like on one engine it had been replaced like water pumps can go fresh water pumps can go for like 20 years 30 years I, that one was probably original it's probably from 1978 it looked original and Billy um, was laying down taking a nap I was on the helm because he got up super early this morning and made sure the engine was ready to go so he was resting I was at the helm and then all of a sudden our temp alarm went off so I slowed down put in neutral and then he went down there to the chaos. We're not in the clear yet. Even if we get a fresh water pump tomorrow or whenever we do, hopefully we shut the engine down in time. We did as quick as we could once the high temperature alarm went off. If we didn't, if the engine got too hot, we could have blown a head gasket, which I think I would have seen. And there's no pressure in the coolant system. So I don't think we could have done that. And hopefully we didn't warp a cylinder, I think they say, or warp a cylinder wall. I, I forget what they say, but basically the block and the cylinder, everything gets too hot. And How will you know? Yeah, I guess if it overheats, if we start to burn oil, if we start to get diesel in the oil. So hopefully none of those things happen when we finally get our fresh water pump, put it back on and get going or run the engines at least. We'll run them for a while to make sure that we're good, but cross your fingers. Cause we got lucky today. Bodega was, Bay was only 50 miles away from our starting location. And there are not that many inlets on this coast the next inlet is almost 90 miles away so if this were to happen like on the next trip that wouldn't be so good because again like we're working with weather windows you lose speed when one engine goes out and then you might not be able to make it in time all things to consider good job today okay stay tuned next week to see if we get our part to see if we broke anything else and if we make it offshore to our next location. In the meantime, if you feel the need to subscribe, please do so, it really helps. And we appreciate you being here. Catch you later. Next time on Tula's Endless Summer, we track down a spare fresh water pump. Yeah, I'll certainly take that fresh water pump. We pop the new pump on the engine and we continue heading north along the Pacific coast.